Namaste everyone, welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshad Goda. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Lisa from Ripe Horticulture Australia and we discuss the importance of root stocks. Why do we need commercial root stocks and why not grow uh, Haas on Haas or Shepherd on Shepherd? Uh, now, why do we need commercial root stocks? Why not grow just a Haas on Haas or let's say a Shepherd on Shepherd? What's the point of having a root stock like Welbeck or Dusa or Duke 7? Well, I guess it just, it makes it easier, to be honest. So it gives you a, these are root stocks that have had a lot of plant breeding yeah. and they've been chosen purely for phytophthora tolerance. Yeah. I mean, we, we are asking that same question. We're revisiting that on our farm and we yeah. do have some Hass on Hass in. Okay, yeah. Um, because we're doing high density in a subtropical climate means we get a lot of growth, but our trees are packed in tight. Yeah. Um, we can use growth regulants here, which is great, we yeah. do, uh, but rootstock has a huge role in that and unfortunately the, all the industry R&D has been around big trees, uh, big root system, yeah. phytophthora tolerance, whereas no one's really been looking at the smaller tree with phytophthora tolerance. So we've actually gone back to a lot of the rootstocks that got thrown out originally yeah. from all these R&D trials and just yeah. trying them. So we also have our own nursery as well, yeah. and that helps. I think you need that if you do high density, yeah. plus it's very expensive. Mm. Uh, but I mean, in the long run, so when you get crazy weather conditions like we've had this year, we've had so much rain. We got sort of 800 mils of rain in three days. Mm-hmm. and that happened maybe two or three times this season. Yeah. That's when the genetics pay for themselves. So okay. they can handle those conditions way better than reed. Right. So and reed made it as a root stock, I think, in Australia, just because it's available, cheap, easy to get. People want trees. Okay. Compatible. Yeah. Not very tolerant. Okay. And... Tolerant. Does it affect yield? Do root stocks affect the yield of the plant? I think so, yes. Yeah. Um, and I would also say in climates too, so different climates give you different results on different root stocks. Yeah. So, um, I guess with the root stock genetics, the bigger trees will give you a bigger yield yeah. per hectare. Yeah. But they sort of require the extra room as well. So, um, whereas a smaller tree, if you pack them in per hectare, you'll get the same or more yield, I guess. Okay. But, I mean, the ash stock is one that is sort of a smaller tree. Yeah, I was about to say that. But we do. Sorry. So I was about to say that like I, I my some of my plants are drafted on Ashdod, Ashdod 17 from Israel, and I've been yeah. told that it's a dwarfing rootstock. Yeah, except that <laughs> like one in ten seems to revert and be huge. So right. Ashdod itself is not very, it's quite vigorous. Um, okay. But when you put Hass on it, it's yeah. not. Okay. I actually think there's a small amount of graft incompatibility and that's what's creating that and you get you seem to you do seem to get an extra yield on the hats when it's yeah. on ash dot and you yeah. get a smaller tree. That's yeah. definitely my experience. Yeah. However, being that smaller tree, it's almost like a weakened state. Yeah. So when you get under stressful conditions, they don't uh, survive as well or they have more problems or they get more sunburn or they get more disease so and their their root systems grow slower so because there's a there seems to be a lower partitioning of carbohydrates to the roots during root growth time yeah. so they even their root flushes seem to be smaller than say velvic okay. um, and so when when a tree is trying to heal itself or or come back from a stress event those things all come into play right. so Genetics is huge. I think I see I see rootstocks definitely having a role on um, on yield. 
I hope you found the video interesting. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. But before you go, don't forget to hit the notification icon and the subscribe button. Bye.